southeastern Colorado and stopped in the little town of Rye, Colorado for breakfast and uh, got in there and there was a picture of John Wayne on the wall. And it says John Wayne breakfast, dollar ninety nine. So you can tell how long ago that was. Anyway, I asked uh, the guy running the place. He was the cook and everything else that morning. I asked him, I said, what's a John Wayne breakfast? And he said, well, uh, it's the most popular breakfast I have here anymore. And uh, John Wayne stopped here. He was up in this part of the country hunting antelope. He wanted a trophy pronghorn antelope. And uh, he came in here and asked me if I had some chili. I told him, I said, yeah, I got a pot of it over there on the flat top to keep him warm. And he said, well, I'd like you to make me a breakfast that I really like. And I said, well, I'll give it a try. What is it? And uh, he told me it was a very simple breakfast, hash browns, chili, and eggs. And uh, I said, well, sounds good to me. Make me one. So he made it for me. And uh, I thought I would duplicate it for you this morning. I did this about 10 years ago when I first started making YouTubes. I think it was the second or third YouTube that I made. And uh, if you'd like to hunt up that old uh, John Wayne Breakfast video, and compare them. I, I hope I have improved a little bit in my style and uh, production and uh, the equipment that, uh, that I would had to use at that time. So I'm going to make you a John Wayne breakfast this morning. I buy freeze-dried shredded potatoes from a company called Essentials in uh, Salt Lake City, it's, uh, they, they sell a lot to the Mormon trade and everything like that and they're freeze dried and they have to be reconstituted so I've got some of those here. I'm going to put a little bit of onions in there. And about a half a spoonful of cornstarch. Now that's to hold the potatoes together as they cook and make, make a patty out of them, kind of like a tater tot. And mix that together. And now I'll put hot water on them to, to, to uh, hydrate them, rehydrate them. Okay, this is just hot tap water. It doesn't have to be boiling or anything. And you just pour them over there until you just cover the potatoes. And see, it's already soaking in now. It will rehydrate those. It's going to take about 10 minutes, so... This isn't a breakfast that you run up to the stove and whip it out in five minutes. It's something that's going to take a bit of time. Well, the skillet is hot, so I'm going to give it a turn of olive oil. That ought to be adequate. And you see how these have swelled as they rehydrated? See how full that is? That will make one good serving for one person. And you just dump them in there. And spread them around. And flatten them out with a spatula. Don't want to pack them down tight, just spread them out is about all. Now this is going to take about 10 minutes for the bottom of this to cook nice and brown. 
as I said, it's not a breakfast you can rush. And then we will turn them over. Well, this is cooked 10 minutes. It's browning around the edges there, so I would say it's uh, getting nice and brown on the bottom side. So I'm going to see if I can turn this without completely wrecking it. Slide it out on this plate here. And see if I can do a flip here. How about that? <laughs> Perfect. And I'll brown that side. Look at how nice and brown those are. Well, while that's cooking, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the antelope. It's the fastest animal in the United States, second fastest in the world. Well, that is unless you consider a Hell's Angels on a Harley, but that's beside the point. Uh, cheetah is faster for maybe 50 yards than an antelope, but on the long haul, the cheetah will give up after about 100 yards and the antelope is just getting his second breath going and it it can run at that speed for 15 miles uh, but at any rate John wanted to get a trophy buck and finding one is the difficult part they're usually right in the middle of the herd which can be scattered out over a mile to a mile and a half. Uh, antelope don't graze next to each other. They give themselves about 20 feet of separation of anything around it. And uh, the whole herd is, is the watchdog. And if one of them sees something they don't like, they give a snort about like a, a big cough. And every head will pop up and they all look in the direction that one is and if they see anything they spin and gone. And uh, photographers, are, they, they don't refer to them as antelope, they refer to them as antelope. That's the only, the only thing they ever get a picture of. I don't know if John got his uh, trophy antelope or not, but uh, it was a fun place to go up there in northeastern Colorado and if you ever get a chance that would be a place to visit because it's it's being returned to as it was 150 years ago uh, rolling grass they've pulled up most of the fences uh, the Pawnee National Grasslands uh, area is there is huge you can camp most any place in it but you be aware that you're dry camping and uh, there's not even te cell telephone service out in that area so you have to carry everything that you want with you water and all there are a few windmills around there but they're few and far between but the wildlife is spectacular they uh, prairie chickens grouse uh, antelope coyotes yes they're around there too and uh, you should also spend one night out there because you will see stars and sky that you have never seen before. There's no light pollution out in there from sodium vapor lamps or anything and it's dead dark and uh, if the moon is out it's bright enough to read a newspaper by moonlight. But. Uh, I camped out in there for about a week in, a, in our camper van and it was one of the best camping trips I ever took like that. I was by myself shooting pictures and I got a lot of good sunrise and sunset photos but that was about all. I wasn't even going to try to photograph the antelope. They were just too wary for me. But anyway, here, here's my John Wayne breakfast. And uh, here it is, 6.15, too.
Frida's still in bed asleep, I'll fix her breakfast when she wakes up. But I wanted to do this video and get it over with. And uh, Okay, this side is brown. Shake it loose here. Yep. It goes on the plate. And... Hit, hit it with some spray. Cook the eggs here. Look the yellow on that one. And now I'll do my old ice cream trick. And while those eggs are cooking, I'm going to put the chili on the on the potatoes. the chili and as soon as the, uh, the eggs are done they go on check the eggs oh yeah perfect Have to turn them around so they'll slide out easily. Now slide the eggs out on the top of the chili. That breakfast is done, well, except for. A garnish of green onions on it. Salt and pepper. Now I'm going to get my favorite cup of coffee and uh, head for the table. Check this puppy out. Get me a bite of hash browns and chili and egg here. This reminds me of huevos rancheros, except it's got chili on it instead of ranchera sauce. And they're made on fried corn tortillas. And this is, of course, on hash browns. But I like this a lot better. All I can say for the Duke is he knew how to eat breakfast. So, thanks for watching.